Hi, it's Debbie from Australia. I just got up to my finishes and noticed it was a circle, not a square, and the time I wasn't recording. So I'm very well practiced, so hopefully it won't be as jumpy as the previous one was. This month, I'm very late, actually I'm very late for my September meetup. Um, trying to get a weekend or a day <laughs> that I'm here alone. I don't care, love my sleepovers with my grandchildren. But the secret's out. My son found my YouTube channel. I did ask him and I managed to get him alone how. He said through my profile on Instagram. I didn't think he'd look there. He, I did ask if he told my daughter. He said he did, but he told her not to watch yet because I was stitching something for her, which was really nice. Have not told hubby yet, mainly because I'm a bit embarrassed too, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I suppose once he knows, I don't have to run home from work in my lunch hour like I am today to get it done because I'm running out of projects I can work on that I didn't work on in September. <laughs> So the video's got content. Firstly, big shout out to Laura X Stitch on Floss Tube. Thank you very much. Um, for you to call out all a large number of Australian floss tubers, that was just lovely. And I think I got at least another 20 subscribers, which is really quite lovely to think that someone's interested in seeing some of the projects get finished and see the progress as you go along. Justine Scales also contacted me. I sent off her prizes. She has already nearly stitched two of the three patterns, so she obviously enjoys it, and that's lovely to lovely to think that she's happy. Okay, September. I had four starts. Three were model stitching. Cannot show you at this stage. There will also be three finishes. I did take a short video that I'll include at a future date once the designs have been published, which I think will be in November-ish. Thoroughly enjoyed doing them. Very, very, very lovely patterns. I really did enjoy doing them. I'll have to do them again because I had to send them back, of course. I also had a work start. I've got that there. I'll just show you that one now. This is Squawkers from Crafty Like a Fox on Etsy. It's coming along. I bought some coasters to, I'm going to make these and do the galahs, a set of galahs and have two of these and two of the galahs as a coaster set. The coasters I bought, you can't put stitching in. Talking with my husband and brother, we've decided we're going to, I've sent away for the frame and I'm going to actually see if I can immerse them in resin and make them into coasters that way. So it should be interesting and we'll see how we go with that. I did have one big finish as well as the three little model stitches. I'll show you those at the end. We'll start with the whips again. <laughs> this one. Lady named Ella. I will have to insert photos because I stitched on this the last two nights because I ran out of projects to work on that weren't queued for this month. Lady named Ella, designed by Ebony Short, chartered by Ingleside Imaginarium. I'm doing it on 40 can antique white, and I adore it. It is very intense. I think there are more half stitches than what they are, or fractional stitches than what they are full crosses, but the, it just makes the design and it is gorgeous. And I am so looking forward to finish. And yes, I've got a very, very plain frame because I just want her to stand out in it, ready to roll as soon as she's done. The second whip I have is Alice. Now this is part of a sale called Alice is Back. I'm actually prepared this time. I'm doing this sale with Pennington Terrace. Patchy Pony Stitcher, Naz X Stitch, 
Gable Stitcher and Emily Reed. We're all doing it on different fabric and it's just amazing to see how the same pattern can look so different. This one I am doing this on Lapis Lazuri from Silk Weavers. I just love the fabric. It's 28 count. I've done a fair bit. In September she got 2,498 stitches. And I am using a hint from Sunshine Stitches about having the details on the back. These are the forms or the, the papers I made up to go into my 24 hour cross stitch. It's another diary or planner. So I did a second copy. So I keep them with the originals that I show you so I can write up. Each month I'm going to write the stitches I've done. And it gives me all the details of the material date started. So I don't started this for the third time. I started this, oh it's the back, on the 7th of November. Love it. Looking forward to it being finished. Just got to skip back to my notes. The next whip is Anzac by Long Dog Samplers. Love it. Still love it. Be mad, I suppose, if we didn't love what we were working on. This is where I got up to. The shark is gone. That was in my was in my dying. She might have to go into a bigger. Sorry, it's still on the Q snap. But I've still got stuff to do around here, and I thought I might as well leave it there. This is being done on forty count linen which I dyed with peacock and bottle green and I started on the 29th of July and it got 1,837 stitches in September. This I call Kelly's Bee because I, after seeing Kelly from Animal Instinct do this, I couldn't help myself and I had to buy it from Gecko Rouge in New York, UK. It's actually the Bee by Lorna Lane and it is just gorgeous it is gorgeous in september i managed to get 1945 stitches i did actually try and do a few different colors give a bit of variety love pattern keeper just let you go wherever you like this is being done on 20 count ada i started on the 16th of april i've got to remember to leave room for the befores I think I said 1,945 stitches in September. Garden party, mirabilia, beautiful. This is being done on 18 count Dragon Queen from Colour Cascades. I tell you, this window lets the colours of this fabric show up so beautifully. The fabric is what decided that I start would start this. I was flipping through my fabric and I found this and it just screamed this pattern. I started this on the 12th of March. September it got 2,161 stitches and this is the bottom of the pattern. So finish, try and get that finished in October. I think it's due in October. Probably won't because a lot of stitching in those dresses, especially that white one. But I love it. Next one is Kringles. Little House Needleworks. Beautiful, beautiful pattern. I intend to do the whole shell roof outlines before I start the pretty stuff in the middle. I could not get, I suppose everyone in the world would think, and I could not actually get, I think it's black coffee for the black. And they said the nearest was 844 to black coffee. I'm not sure. It's as dark as I would have liked. I did look at doing um, a dull metallic, like a black gold metallic for the Kringles. It just didn't look right, so I stuck with the call for colour. The bricks are the cord for colour. I was able to get that. That's called Campfire, I believe. It is being done on 40 Count Lakeside Lemon in Meadow Rue. 
and I love it. I love it. I will be, I may even have to unpull this. I started in the centre and that was to get me to the roof because when I put the greens on that grey black, it it was just too dull and Christmas to me is bright and old so I like the bright greens, bright reds and golds so I may be brightening up the colours on the inside this is crossword from long dog samplers I think I'm, I think I'm almost I'm past 50% on this this is being done on Yeah. on 40 count opal opal don't think you're going to be able to see it opal linen with DMC 115 a thread eye door Once this has got some work due in October. Sorry for the chair. This got for fourteen hundred and seventy eight stitches, and I started this on Christmas Day two thousand nineteen. Next is the sale I'm doing with Kelly from Animal Instinct from the Blue Flower when Night Walked Down. I know a lot of people have starting a sow with this one now but I don't believe I'm too far off a finish in September this one got 3036 stitches all of this white in here is stitched I did have to change up the colors of the flowers I actually think the purple paint and another one i actually think one of them was mislabeled because they were absolutely identical so i think one of them was actually mislabeled so because they were supposed to be in the same flower it made the whole flower the same color so i did i tried to keep it in with comp with the way the pattern was but i did change up the colors in there and i had to change the peacock because on my material you couldn't see it at all this is being done on 36 count lavender fields from Cala Cascades in Australia. And I love it. Next. Stitching time. My one and only Haid. I know you're probably all shocked. Spreadsheet says it's going to take 19 years. Artwork by Amy Stewart, charted by Hayde. I am doing, what's it called? Max Colours. Max Colours, yes. 237 colours in this. It is slowly getting done. In September, it got 1,062 stitches, which represents 3.71%. So I have done... 26,443 stitches out of 713, 286. Slowly but surely. It's been done on 32 count, full cross on easy count, even weave. My last week for September. Templars Prophecy from Long Dog Samplers. I have actually, down the bottom, reached the outside edge. I've only got to do two little lions. So I'll be able to move that cross and I'll almost get the full width in here. I think I was up to the horse's butt last month. I will bring this down so I can have the befores up the top. Loving this have to work with the new shade of 317 which is slightly darker than the 317 used here i have got enough of this in other projects i can pull um, to make sure that it isn't the only place it's used to try and balance it out up here somewhere this is also being done on 40 count white linen and i started this is my new year new start 
this one might get done this year not like last year this one might get done so they are my whips for september and now i've shown you i'll be able to start working on those that i've got to work with in um in october i have got a big finish i should have done something about this after my last time i realized i need something to hide it will you work it may work this is the back of <laughs> is mermaids of the deep blue there are over 2300 beads on this project it was just beady 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 i keep talking about how let's see if i can put those ones together i don't know if i can hold them both i'll have to just leave it see through. This is the one they're going to be hanging with. Sadly, this one, this one will not fit in the frame that I purchased for them. So back to the drawing board, but I will actually be offsetting them because this little one is actually sitting down and she needs to be looking at them. So she's looking up, so she can be looking at them fooling around. So I've come up with a different idea. I've just got to get the frames. Measure them up this time. Measure them up and then go and get the frames. So I thought I really had it organised. I am also going to include in here a finish for October. This is the Harry Potter pillow from Clouds Factory. All done. Now, the reason I'm putting it in here, Gail Phillips, Gail Phillips on YouTube. This has had your name on it since you attended your first Mittagong Stitches meeting in Mittagong where we all had lunch together and it became very obvious you're a Harry Potter fan. I had no intentions of finishing this. It was only started to make sure I had things to do for School of Magical Stitching homework in 2019. But when I realised what a fan you were, it's had your name on it ever since. If you are interested and would like this to make this up as a pillow for your Harry Potter room, send me a message and it's all yours. I will wash it. I will wash it and give it a press send it on don't feel obliged if you're not interested that's fine it'll just sit in the pile but if you would like to give it a home send me a message there next i've got to apologize to test stitches on <laughs> floss tube we have been able to reinstate our canberra stitching so i drive to canberra First Saturday of every month and we stitch for from 1.30 to 4-ish and I merely said no, no, I haven't been buying. Well obviously I hadn't but the night time or the forgetful Debbie has been buying. So my purchases for September and I hate to tell you the October pile is quite a lot bigger. This is Easter by Ch Madame Chantilly. Oh, I just loved it. Just loved it. I got this from Journey for Stitcher, who has closed a shop. I am not sure if she's coming back. Oh, I loved how quick she sent everything to us. It was just lovely. I also got from Madame Chantilly Spring. Such a cute little pattern with those bunnies. I also got from the Blue Flower Summer Acorns. And while I was there, I got a variety of gas and gas and classic colour works. And there is one week's in there. 
for various projects. Not the same one. So I can put those away. Also, this tray has now got its own um, Threads of the Month Clubs. They come in these gorgeous red envelopes. You can't miss them. And in fact, when I come home at lunchtime today, there was a thing in my mailbox saying you weren't here to pick it up. So I've got to go down over and get those. I won't get them out of the bag, but these are the week's bundle for August. Lovely Nightly Abel. This is from A Stitch in Time down in Hobart in Tasmania. And that month we got a free chai tea tea bag. I love chai tea, so it's going to be lovely. I also received September's. This month we got a free bow and needle, which was lovely. Now, from Jay's Cross Stitch on Etsy, I got 40 count, 40 count, I need something for it. This is called Lemon Butter, there we go. That's beautiful, 40 count linen, lemon butter. Just gorgeous. From Jay's X Stitch on Etsy, part of the Mittagong Stitches group. And I also got from her, and it's always so beautifully bundled in black tissue paper and pretty ribbon and tape. I got some colour stream colours, just random colours. They look very, very Sorry about the glare. They look very Halloweenish there. I did not mean it to be, but it's actually a green, an orange, and a gold. Lovely. Then from Stash on Low, I managed to find a piece of lakeside linen. This is called Lentil in 36 count. Very neutral, very nice. It's very happy to get my hands on that. I also got some unusual patterns. This is from Cedar Hill and it's called Animal Rhymes. It's sort of an ABC, but they're not all in ABC order. I'll pull it out. Cedar Hill, Shaker, Animal Rhymes, Alligator Beetle, Porcupine Whale, Bobo Link, Panther, Dragonfly, Snail. Crocodile monkey, buffalo hare, dromometry, that's a camel, leopard, mud turtle, bear. Something different. Then there was this is a little one, it's from Heart in Hand Pocket Sampler, and it's called Friend. So I've just got to chase down that little friend thing. I'm sure you'll be able to get a hands on it. I just thought it was so cute. And then from Stash the Stark Cross Stitcher on Etsy, on Floss Tube. This was from the Fabric of the Month Club by X Jude Designs May, the Bright set. This is called Ostrich Egg. Yep, there we go. Ostrich Egg, 40 count linen. Tash said she's very interested to see what I stitch on. So am I. But it's lovely. This was the July month of the club from the Bright thing. This is called Orchid. Again, on 40 count. Yep, spot on. That is gorgeous, is it not? Again, not sure, but I don't have anything. Well, I didn't think I had anything like that. I don't think I've actually got that. So they were my September purchases. So I've done whips. I've done my purchases. I think on the first one, sorry, Thomas is back. I actually found the material to back the witch's piece I have there. So that's all on the table waiting to get organised. And I'm actually in the process of organising this room. I'll just show you how bad it is. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is, these are, holy moly. I don't know if I'm going to run out of fabric. I seem to, I had it in my mind that I had 
no fabric and I needed to stock up before my retirement. I think I'm right. It is all bundled now at the moment. That is 28 count. That's 36 count. Oh, different colours. That's going to be the biggest. So that's going to be 32 count. And <laughs> there's quite a lot in there. These are quite heavy. Oh, don't do that. I intend to iron all these and lay them flat in the drawers. This is 40 count. Is that is this not the most gorgeous fabric? This is Anubis. Anubis from Under the Sea Fabrics. I adore it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's the 40 count. I didn't actually want to see. Oh, okay. This is 18 count. There's not many 18 counts there. 18 count. I think that's in destined to be a witch's piece because it's a long skinny one. What are you? This is 38 count. I've only got two pieces of 38 count, but again, beautiful colours. And I've got a random 46 count. Oh, it's 46 count. That is 25 count. And I've got two drawers. I've got no idea what they are. Or they're in bags with all their details on the bags that needs to be transferred to the material. Because I want to clip them together, put them in sizes, press them and have them flat in the drawers. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> well, there we go. I was going to show you something my husband made for me. Well... Made it for me, went to my daughter, and now we've done extras for the grandsons. Look at this. He's a bendy wiggly cat. He'll stand up by himself. Oh, you can't see him. He'll stand up by himself. There we go. He was printed on a 3D printer. And well, that's how he comes out, already joined together. And he's a wiggly woggly. I think that's the best thing since last spring. So my daughter's got a black one. One of the little fellas broke it. So she got another black one. And I think there's an orange one and another black one for them. So they've got their own then. So they won't have to fight over them. And I'll get all the trial ones. So yay. I do believe that's it. I will need to get back to work. I thank you very much for dropping in. Um, next month, I don't think we'll be that far away because I think I'm going to have to confess to my husband so I don't have to have to do this. Next month, I might show you the parts of the room I've actually done, even if it's only photos. Might even slip them in here. Once I've actually done the filming, the editing's not a worry because I just sit in my chair and I just hold the iPad slightly away so we can't see it i wish you all well i hope you're all safe in these troubled times hopefully hopefully next year is going to be a lot better i hope to get a few more finishes in october i've actually i think i've actually already got two new starts this month and i plan to start another one tonight because i just can't help myself I'm not part of the no new starts next year and that's probably why but i'll show you those shortly take care and i'll catch you next month or later this month bye